I'm 90% certain I'm getting scammed by the hotel, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Good morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back, or should I say welcome to a new country. Okay, I'm actually in Turkey. Yeah, this breathtakingness is incredible. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Turkey, still in Fethiye, as you can tell, in the hotel. Literally about to leave right now. Don't even know what time it is. Let's have a look. It is... Actually, don't need to leave right now, but I'm probably going to. It's quarter past ten. So, I am leaving slightly earlier than planned. I'm going to head towards the bus station now and hopefully find somewhere that does good coffee on the way. Because if I go till like 3, 4 o'clock, I believe the time the bus is going to arrive in the next place I'm going to, without coffee, I am, yeah, I'm going to struggle. But yeah, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to Pamukkale today. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Again, just correct me if I am wrong, which I'm sure I am in the comments below. But I'm not going to be doing like the whole touristy seeing the site today because by the time I get there, it will be close to close. And I think it closes earlier during like November through till... April, I think I'm right in saying, so I'm going to be doing it tomorrow, I'm staying there two nights tonight, tomorrow, and then moving on from there. So, what's the purpose of this video? Obviously it's a travel day, we're going to document what goes on, but in the UK, doner kebabs are kind of known for like, post-night out food. You go out drinking, you're smashed, you just go to a kebab shop and you have a kebab. I've never really done it, always been like, go to Mackey's instead, so I'm in Turkey, where else? better to try my first on a kebab so i'm going to be doing that tonight for your guys entertainment in this video but as i said it is time to leave this hotel room if you didn't watch the first video here from fetier i kind of gave you a slight room tour as this place only cost 13 us 13 14 usd a night which is great but yeah i need to stop talking get me bags and get out of here So, finally on the bus, got some coffee before, which was very much needed. And I think my bus leaves at like quarter past 12, I think it's about 12 o'clock now. All like the big companies aren't leaving for like four or five hours, so I've just kind of got on some random bus. I'm literally the only one on it. I don't even think anyone else has booked on it from looking online. Like, the bus is literally empty. So, hopefully that means it gets there a bit quicker. Probably won't like, but. It's wishful thinking anyway. So we've stopped off for what I think is a 20 minute break. I think we're actually in the same place we stopped off on the way to Fetier from Antalya. It is literally just me and the driver. And we're occasionally picking up some locals like along the way and then dropping them at the next town along. But yeah, so far so good. I don't think we're gonna get there any earlier though. So 
so like five and a half hours later and we are finally in Pamukkale. The bus actually drops you in a city nearby called Dennis Lee, I believe. But the bus driver, he was great. It was literally just me and him the whole journey. He couldn't really speak any English, but he was trying his best to communicate with me and even show me where to get the bus to here. So I've got nothing but respect for that. And yeah, long travel day, but I want to get the bags into the hotel and get straight back out because the sunset looks incredible. Got about like an hour before it's going to go completely dark, so... That over there is what we are going to be exploring tomorrow. It looks stunning enough just from standing here, but yeah, I'm heading up there like for sunrise ish. Hopefully, if it's open that early, checking it out. But yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I've missed the sunset. I wanted to catch like over the mountains, but there is always tomorrow. The weather's meant to be pretty much the same as today. Going back on what I was saying before, I'm 90% certain I'm getting scammed by the hotel, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt until I realise later, but fingers crossed it's not happening because it's not ideal when you first just got here. sort of was right about the hotel and sort of wasn't they did overcharge me but not by much so uh it's frustrating but i'm just gonna let it slide anyway this place let's do the math i'm not great with the maths uh, it's about 15 us a night so let me show you around there is the bathroom Quite a big shower, big sink. Can't really say big toilet. I don't think there's a such thing as a big toilet out here. This is going to be super orange now, isn't it? TV, bed one, bed two, kettle, Red Bull mini fridge. Quite cool. Doesn't come with cookies. I did buy them before. And then out there, there is a balcony, but you wouldn't be able to see anything. So when I was getting coffee just now, I'm going to go back out for food in a moment, but I wanted to get this place sorted out and I needed a coffee, so I went and got a coffee. And I asked the guy there, because he spoke really good English and was very friendly actually, he gave me a free huge bottle of water, which was very, very nice of him. Um, he said the Pamukkale Travertines, I believe. The Travertines part is definitely wrong, but I believe that's what he said. Uh, they open at half six if you go to the gate around the back. And then the gate closest to everyone opens at 8 o'clock, so I'm going to try and get there as early as possible tomorrow, just because you can beat the crowds. Most people come here on day trips. Obviously, I am not on a day trip. I am literally across the road from the place. So I'm going to try and get there as early as possible so you can enjoy it the most. And then, obviously, we've got the full day, staying another night and then moving on. But I am looking forward to tomorrow. It looks, as I said before, it looks breathtaking just from even, like, standing on the street. So, uh, yeah, to actually experience it up close, and yeah to be able to experience it by actually going in it's going to be great and there's actually a lot more to see than just the like travertines themselves there's like a pool that a lot of people swim in and there's like some old ancient ruins as well so it's going to be a full full day of exploring tomorrow So, not only was that my first time having a doner kebab, that was also my first time having Turkish tea. I'm surprised I've not actually had it yet so far, because like, I drink a lot of peppermint tea, which I loved the Moroccan tea, I think it was. Uh, I think that was what it was called. It might have been Moroccan mint tea or something like that. 
but yeah the guy just kept giving me um <laughs> it was actually really really nice so i'm gonna carry on having that if you can't tell i am absolutely freezing this is the first time i've actually felt cold since i've been here in turkey it goes really cold here overnight so i dread to think what it's going to be like in cappadocia next week or cappadocia not entirely sure how you pronounce it but tomorrow i am going to be checking out pamukkale and i really really can't wait but at the moment i think i need to get into bed and try and warm up it's only like eight o'clock as well so it's yeah it's cold i'm also getting up quite early to catch sunrise so it's gonna be cold then as well isn't it <laughs> 